Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now today's video is going to be something completely different to what you're usually seeing here if you're a regular viewer of my channel, but if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you something to do with the storyline and the specialists and other characters that have been in past Call of Duties within BO4. Now to get it started, basically if you go to this room on um, Hacienda, I think it's the sea spawn of Domination, if you run up the stairs and look to the right, you will see a... It's like a board with lots and lots of postcards and post-it notes on them. Now, on the screen right now, I'm just going through them, staring at them, just so I, I was like translating them myself and writing down a brief story of what happened. Now, it does link to other maps like Icebreaker, um, it links to Contraband, it links to uh, the Jungle, it links to a lot of different maps on BO4, but you also see it, lists, it links to Stronghold on BO3, Empire, which is a raid remake on... Um, BO3 as well and hunted so I was thinking why but why would it link their maps for absolutely no reason but basically a little story I've figured out briefly is this board is basically a hunting gang a hunting tribe like what well, hunt animals like wild just wild animals like deer I don't know lie I don't really know what you'd hunt but the hunt and then this hacienda is like kind of like their hunting base and so is hunted but basically long story short like there's a lot of missing parts to this story uh for some reason the main character i think i believe he's called frank now i'll get to that later is um he has got like some sort of like storage or some sort of contraband in the map contraband hence the name now i'll put some screenshots and video on the screen a bit later of um, when i actually go to the map contraband and just have a look around and boy tell me there is some stuff in there now it also links to militia as well which is like kind of like another command post of theirs now you might think jack what the fuck are you on about like, i've played those maps i haven't had a look like yeah but you need to look in detail now if you read some of the post notes obviously you can pause the video at any time and read the post notes but it basically just goes through a story of them not knowing where frank is and then i think the believe i believe that um infiltrate the map contraband to try and find this frank person and he is found um dead or deceased like deceased or just not there now once i'll get into the contraband gameplay i'll actually show you what happened what i believe is to our friend frank now this does link to a lot of different maps and it's actually just kind of rather weird at first until i start to piece together the story but staying on hacienda if you were to look just to the left of the wall where i am currently at now i'll put some screenshots you will see a gold kn44 now that might not seem significant significant to many people, but why a KN44? Why of every weapon in Call of Duty history a KN44? Now, if you're not really big in the zombies community, you might not know this, but the KN44 had massive controversy during the whole Black Ops 3 life, uh, lifespan of basic more in the zombies community, but it did link the multiplayer a bit as well. But why the KN44 and why in Black Ops 4 now is the KN44 the weapon of choice on this wall? And if you go to the other side of Hacienda, which again, I'll put gameplay on the screen, you can see in like kind of like some sort of viewing glass, there is a uh, Reaper's right arm, which is obviously the specialist from BO3, the scythe person. You see his right arm in a box and you see a Nuketown mannequin head. Now, to me, that just seems completely random, but it kind of makes sense that these people are hunters, right? So you could maybe piece together the story that they hunted, in quotation marks, the Reaper from Black Ops 3, or the story of Reaper before he was um like where he was in BO3 and uh took his right arm as like a kind of like a token like a a signature of that you know what I mean like a token piece now if you go into this little fishing hut in um in contraband you will see this little wall and it has kind of writing on the wall now I'll read out what it says it says day five Frank says help will come soon day I think that's 143 supplies running low Frank still thinks we will be saved day 215 Called Frank stealing from me. He denies it, but I know the truth. Day 245. Frank and his then it's something scribbled out. Football. Then it's day crossed out. Frank has disappeared. I eat well tonight. Then it's day question mark, question mark. Ha 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 No one leaves. Now if you go to the other side of contraband, where the other side of where like the little dinghy rubber boats are, then you'll... Like go under the where I think it's where the hard point is. I think third rotation of hard point. Uh, go in there and then there's like a little kind of outlook. Now go into that little building and look down the stairs. You will see what you are looking at right now. Now if I think Jack, it's just a skull. That's no significance, right? But now mentioned in the last little on the wall in the other side of the map, the fishing hut, it said Frank had a red football, and then all of a sudden Frank disappeared, right? 
So what I'm suggesting here is that the bones, what we are looking at right now, is this Frank person. And there's something in chat, well, humans don't rot away instantly, right? Like, there must be some sort of realism to it, so how, how long have I been here? Now, if you go to the ship, or the other part, of, the other back to the other side of the map, this involves a lot running around the map. If you go to the other side of the map, you will see, like, a... You will see it was basically scribed into the wall of like how many times, how many days we've been here. Like, uh, I think it's a gate chart or something. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen so you can see anyway. Now, that is a hell of a number. Now, I haven't counted that up, but if I were to take a guess, you're looking at about maybe a year, year and a half or something, just off them numbers right there. Which proves how long Frank and this person have been here without any food, water, supplies, or anything like that. Now, if you also go around the map, you'll see... Um, next to the water part on the right side of the exotic jungle it says something like don't wet the water and water is too salty which i don't really know what that means but if you go into uh, the other part of the um, ship which is just off of the other part i know it's i'm not really giving good air uh, directions here but I'll obviously all will all be on the screen so it'll be easy for you to follow it says um some in red writing, I think, it's something along the lines of, if it won't for stop following me, they won't stop following me, it won't let me leave, help. Something along the lines of that, again, screenshots on the screen. Now, that is just extremely fucking weird. Like, that doesn't, to me, link to much anything. I mean, I've low clipped around in theatre mode and I can't really find anything apart from two boys who um, have three random numbers written on. So, I don't know what this could be, but this could link to something more, more huge when you go back to Hacienda and then it mentions the map Frequency. And basically, frequency for those of you who don't know is that it's some sort of like specialist facility where they um, keep an eye on our specialist characters. Now, under in the first building, I think it's the one what I call I think it's Ace Bone. There's um, a little tile what has some specialists has I think Firebreak, Recon, Battery, Ruin, and Seraph. Now, two of them are like clocked out. Uh, three of them it says. Um, active but for one it says a wall which is fire break and for recon it says missing in action now if you go back into that main hallway uh, the main room with um all the computers there'll be information like kind of like televisions on with information for battery uh serif and ruin but there'll be two there'll be three actually kind of uh tvs where they kind of glitch out like you can't really make them out as you'll see on screen now these um they're mostly untranslatable because of a way like they uh, glitch it out but there is a few words what are translatable in there, and um, basically this has already been solved by the community, so I thought I'd just throw it in anyway. But basically, the one under ruin is um, a call sign for Outrider because it mentions the fact that this certain specialist was um, in the Brazilian special ops, and then went to Zurich um, special ops, which is um, the story of Outrider. And the other one uh, mentions the story of uh, Spectre, how we. Um, took care of a lot of like high value targets military political political targets like that and there is another one what is unexplained for it claims it's something to do with like some sort of black hat hacking device something like that which is it's unknown to us we don't know what that is because we've never been a specialist with some sort of abilities like um to hack anything or anything like that so that could be potentially a new specialist what we might see in the future some sort of like hacking device which would be really cool to see now I will go more in depth with this as I go through all the maps and have a look and then look up the links on Stronghold, look up the links on Empire and BO3. But for now, I just wanted to make this video just like the potential of um, what it could be. And after looking at it more, could the Frank person we see in Contraband and Hacienda be referring to Sergeant Frank Woods of Call of Duty Black Ops 1? And for those who say, Jack, that's a really long shot to throw. Granted, it is a really, really big long shot to throw. But then again, why the name Frank? all the male names possible why the name frank who has a significant part in black ops 1 and black ops 2 storyline why frank would like why the why the name frank what of any name you could pick and they just pick up frank now you know i think jack that's just a coincidence and yeah it, it might be it could be it's a possibility but what i've learned from Treyarch is nothing they put everything into their game for a reason there's no like oh we'll just use this we'll just use that everything they do is for a reason because i know the way jason blundell and david von der Haar actually think so if you agree please let me know in the comment section tweet me on twitter my is the same as my youtube channel I'll DMs are open if you've got any information, but this could be kind of huge, you know, because it could link to Spectre coming back, it could link to Frank Woods coming back, it could uh, link to this black hat hacking device, it could link to Spectre coming back, it could link to Outrider coming back. 
it's like it could be anything there's a lot of controversy there's a lot of open directions for this path to be took so if you did like this video it's obviously a lot different to what I'm, i normally cover on my channel but if you did like it please be sure to like comment and subscribe nevertheless if you're new thank you so much for clicking on this video and please let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of this in the comment section below thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one and peace